How can starting a lawnmower give you a tight, powerful, coiled backswing and a kung fu punch for a piece of wood give you a solid impact and a Rory McElroy finish? Check out this video and see how. To be consistent in your ball striking and to have the maximum of power impact, we need to get one thing good in our swing, and that's the ability to stay in our centre point as we rotate. We, we don't want to be moving around. We want to stay nice and centred. We want to maintain our angles. Now, one of the biggest problems I see with, with many golfers is when they set up to the golf ball and make their back swing, they move completely out of their centre point, okay? When I've created this angle with my body, with a driver I have in my hand just slightly inclined behind the golf ball, I want to rotate around that point. I don't want to be moving or lifting. That's going to create inconsistency in the way I bring the club back to the ball and how I strike the golf ball. I'm going to lose distance because I'm trying to manipulate the club. I'm trying to manipulate my body to strike it and hit it in, in the right direction. So it's important we start to build up the feeling of what it means to stay centered. We want to stay like a, a, a linear rotation. Now, when I talk about rotation with, with most, most of my students, what they tend to do is think, okay, I've got to rotate around the right leg. I've got to rotate around the left leg for a right-handed golfer. And, and, and that's not what it's about. It's about staying centered. So I need to create this feeling of, of rotation, but as you can see here, I'm linear. I'm not out of my center point. So I have a great feeling, a great image to give you that this really helps a lot of golfers. And it's basically, um, if you can imagine you've got a petrol lawnmower, I know not everyone's got one, but if you can imagine you have a petrol lawnmower and you have to get the little bit of, you know, the, the string that you need to pull it and, and to start this engine, what we're going to do is we're going to reach down, as you can see, I'm moving my body into it, and then what do I do? I pull it. And as I pull it, what you see is to create that energy to start it, I have to get my body out of the way, and that allows me to create this rotational feeling and allow me to get my body into a powerful coil position. So I reach down, that's the first feeling I want. I'm gonna get down and then pull and pull. And you can see if I turn that into a backswing, I'm perfectly centered. I've created a powerful rotation and I feel ready to swing down and strike that golf ball with power. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the golf club and I'm gonna recreate the same thing. So I set up, that's the feeling I want. I wanna pull that petrol motor, I wanna get it started, and I wanna create that linear rotation. You can see I move into it, so there's a little movement forward, and then I start it. So I'm gonna be a little bit faster at the beginning, but that's fine, okay? The energy is coming from my center. It's coming from my legs. It's coming from my hips, okay? The power was stored here. I'm not moving around, I'm staying centered there. And you can see that is gonna be an excellent position to start my downswing. Right, so let's now move into the downswing and how we can create, turn a kung fu punch through a piece of wood into a powerful impact. We've now got the great backswing, coiled, powerful, ready to start the downswing. So. What, how is this Kung Fu punch that I've been talking about going to create a great impact? Well, let me show you. Imagine I've got a big piece of wood here, all right? No one's ever probably done this before, but the, you know, the, the image, the idea will be clear in a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull myself back, yeah, so I'm, my lead hand goes forward, the trail hands back, and now I'm going to punch through that. So I'm already rotating, so it's kind of the same feeling as we talked with the lawnmower. Now I'm going to hit through that piece of wood. As I hit through, boom. I rotate my body and I lengthen that arm straight through the wood. I've broken through that wood with a lot of power. So it's not this, this is not powerful. I'm not just going down, that's never gonna work, okay? I'm not pulling away, that's not gonna be powerful. That's not gonna ever work. So what I wanna do is get into this powerful position and explode. And I'm gonna pull back again and explode through there. And to get that maximum energy there, look at the rotation I'm creating. Let's turn it into a swing, turn. Explode, finish. Look at that, Rory McElroy. Turn, explode, 
keep going and, and the speed will get me into that beautiful Rory McIlroy finish. Let me get a golf club. Try the driver, get in position, good setup, driver, feet nice and wide, ball position to the left, angle, my spine angle slightly behind, left hip a little higher, now I'm really in a powerful position. So, let's start the lawn mower, turn, drive into my left leg, so I just get a little feeling that I'm moving down, now I'm gonna hit through that piece of wood, this way, this way, punching through and through to a finish. Good, you can hear the sound, it's powerful. Let's try again. Good, you can hear the sound, it's powerful. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get myself a golf ball. I've got a tee, I'll give it a try. And let's see what happens. The feeling we want, we wanna get down as if we're reaching down to the lawnmower and then pulling. We wanna get this swing started with this little bump forward and then rotation into the backswing. So, this feeling here, just a little bump and a good turn. Right, let's give this a rip and let's see what happens. And then a good Kung Fu punch through the shot. Yeah, that's really good. Right guys, build up the feeling. Use these sensations. It's about creating a feeling. If you can create the feeling, you can then turn it into a golf swing. Work on this and you'll see a big difference in how far you hit the golf ball, but also how straight you hit it. Be your best guys. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend. And please consider um, subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and also the bell button next to it so you never miss another video like this one.